Good morning, students. We will start uh, chapter two. Uh, we'll continue the discussion which we have kept in the last lecture. Uh, so we discussed about the financial statements and related discussions in the last lecture. Today, in this lecture, we will see uh, the financial statement to be converted in the uh, spreadsheet. Uh, how to give the input and output data? Uh, how you put the input and how the output can be derived and all the uh, changes will be incorporated so that way we prepare the income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement once we prepare our financial statement we will try to make the financial statement analysis uh, you as we uh, started this in the last lecture financial statement analysis basically uh, we will focus here with two main financial statement analysis tools we will see one is the common size statement analysis that is common size income statement and common size balance sheet we will prepare here after preparing the common size uh, income statement and common size balance sheet we will do the ratio analysis and do point analysis so let us start now for the discussion purpose as you are using the uh, textbook uh, fundamentals of corporate finance fourth edition uh, fourth global edition written by Burke, DiMarjo and Harford it is a uh, 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 it is a compulsory textbook for the course uh, and most of you uh, most of you have registered for that I hope all of you have registered if not just register today and uh, just uh, uh, chapter 2 focus for the financial statement analysis uh, uh, and we are going to start in the book as you know the example of global is given so global incorporation will be the case which we will discuss in this uh, presentation let us start now let you go to the financial statement analysis slide uh, it is slide number 39 so as you know in the last lecture we have discussed about common size statements of Microsoft that is the data case of the book and this class is and this presentation as we discussed we will see for global all these financial statement analysis so I discuss now that common size income statement and common size balance sheet will be prepared uh, before this we will prepare the income statement and balance sheet um, and the cash flow statement in the spreadsheet let us do that first Uh, the as I discussed in the last lecture also all the normal range is the input where the color is black in front and there is no uh, uh, color set it is an input area where it is uh, seted with yellow that is the output area so let us first start with the balance sheet as you know balance sheet is having uh, the asset side and liability side and uh, uh, there are different ways of presentation gap and IFRS allows some companies they do the uh, balance it in a left hand side asset right hand side liability and capital some other companies uh, what they do they make it reverse they show the liabilities and capital in the left hand side assets in the right hand side and most of the companies what they do they do it in a statement format first they present the asset then they present the liabilities and capital as we discussed in the previous lecture now we will see global is presenting in a statement format so first it is presenting the assets then liabilities and capital so students uh, the assets as you know is having distributed into two categories current assets and long-term assets so current assets you have cash so 23.20 .20 million in 2016, 20.50 in 2015. So cash, accounts receivable and inventories. These are the input area. There is no need, uh, the data has been provided, just we have taken. Now total current assets, just make a sum of the uh, cash, accounts receivable and inventory. So the total current assets will come. 
when you will make analysis for another company, you need to just change the cash receivables and inventory. Automatically, the current asset will be taken care of. It will be uh, automatically uh, summed up. Now, net prop once current assets are totaled, we will go to the long-term assets. You know, long-term assets are property, plant, and equipment, and no other long-term assets are reported in the company's balance sheet. So we will make the total of the long-term assets. Uh, after that, you will calculate the total asset. Total asset is equal to total current assets and total non-current assets or long-term assets. It becomes 170.104. 2016 128.90 for 2015 so it is clear i think and go to the liabilities and stockholder equity side uh, again uh, the the presentation of the assets and liability uh, ifrs and gap gives some uh, liberty freedom uh, some companies report uh, uh, current assets first non current assets next some other companies they report reverse non current then current asset uh, we have seen for the um, uh, famous uh, uh, company uh, sabik in the last lecture who is presenting non current asset first and current asset next so it is a kind of uh, a way of presentation no hard and fast rule which one to be given first and which one given next so this company first reporting current then non current again in the liability and equity side uh, in in the uh, very beginning, current liability, then non-current long-term liabilities, then stockholder equity. Current liability input area from the company's annual report we can take accounts payable uh, 29.2 26.5. To Similarly, notes payable. After that, total current liability make a sum of the uh, accounts payable and notes payable. Once you finish the total current liability, come to the long-term debt. There is only one long-term debt in the company, 113.278. So total long-term debt, just sum up, that, uh, that is the only debt the company has. Uh, total liability is equal to the total current liability and total non-current liability, long-term liability. We will go to the stockholder equity, hope current and non-current, uh, that is long-term liability and current liability is added up, total liability is derived. Now we will go to the stockholder security. Common stock and paid up surplus that is 8 million both the years given in the annual report. Retained earning given in the annual report. And uh, uh, this also you can do it as an input output area. How uh, for this income statement is to be done. Then this plus uh, uh, the, the net income of the year will be the retained earning of the year will be the uh, for example this is equal to we can do it like this uh, 13.2 plus the retained earning of the year that is retained earning is oh, $2 net income uh, 2 million net income minus 1 million dividend paid can also be calculated like this see the 14.2k so uh, retained earning uh, we can set because we have given the equation here so let us set it hello so hope it is clear retained, retained earning what i have done opening balance of retained earning i have taken here plus the retaining uh, retained earning of this year we have added so that we got the uh, assets and liability equal asset of 170.10 million li liability and equity also 170.10 million so hope the uh, the conversion of inputs of income statement into the uh, um, financial model of uh, uh, the company uh, we finished for balance it let us now i hope the balance sheet is clear to all of you uh, just a minute let me stop the recording